Hey guys, welcome to another video. It's the first video that I've filmed in like seven months, which is absolutely crazy. I can't believe I've left it that long. Uh, but because it's been seven months, I thought I would just kind of update you guys, do a get ready with me like I did last time when I didn't post for ages. Um, but just do like a get ready with me, update you guys on what I've been doing with my life, what's been going on, any, you know, exciting things, new updates, how uni went, things like that. So yeah, if you're interested in seeing how my life has been for the last seven months, then keep watching. Okay, so I have got the absolute worst cold at the moment and I need to do a full face of makeup, but I know that I'm just going to be blowing my nose all day, so I'm going to hope that if I just blow my nose once now, it will last the whole day. It won't, but... So first of all, I'm going to put some moisturiser on. Throughout this video, I'm not really going to say like what I'm using and stuff like that, so if you want a proper in-depth makeup tutorial i am more than happy to do that for you guys um but yeah for now i'm just going to moisturize um one thing that i will talk about though is is this tanning spray it is saint trope i don't know how you say that saint trope Trapez. self tan purity it is basically just like a tanning spray and you spray it on your face and you can obviously spray it on your body and stuff like that but it's a face mist tanning spray um and i used to use the tanology one tanologist or something like that i don't know what it's called um but it just didn't i didn't really like it it always made my hands go really orange, even if I washed my hands straight afterwards. But then my old manager recommended this to me uh, because she saw that my hands were absolutely like orange. So she recommended this to me and I honestly love it so much. So my face, as you can see, is a bit pale at the moment and then my body is obviously tan. So I'm gonna spray this on underneath my makeup. Um, and then I'll probably spray this on once I take my makeup off as well just to give me a bit of a darker complexion So before I started I did actually do my mascara because it does take me a little bit of a while to do sometimes What I just did was curled them and then I used two different mascaras both Lash sensational ones by Maybelline. I don't want a really heavy base today So I'm just gonna go with concealer and foundation, but use like a very little bit of foundation just for the colour. The first thing that I wanted to talk to you guys about was actually why I haven't been uploading for almost a year. It's been like eight, no, it's not been almost a year. It's been like eight months, something like that. But basically, long story short, is just because uni has been so tough for me this year. I found it so difficult. Um, there is a lot of work. There was a lot of work in them, like second year. And then also because we didn't have proper teaching, we didn't have to, like, we didn't get to go into uni and have that one-to-one -one teaching, I found it really difficult um, to kind of grasp the concepts of, like, every module and stuff like that. So, yeah, I struggled a bit with that. And then also my, I really struggled with my mental health this year. I think obviously because we were in lockdown, like, non-stop about going in and out of lockdowns it made it harder for everyone on their mental health so yeah i did struggle with that and i needed to take a little bit of time just away from everything and just kind of like get myself back together i just felt like quite out of swing of things like out of my routine and i needed to sort like my routine out so the dog is barking someone's at the door just hold on one sec but this is what i mean when i say that i'm doing kind of like heart like a really light coverage like foundation i've literally put one spot there one spot there and then some concealer to make it a bit lighter i need to obviously blend it down my neck and on my chin and stuff like that and on my forehead but it's literally just like the tiniest layer of foundation what was i on about what was i going on about oh yeah how i'm just kind of like out of swing of things like i don't feel like i'm in a routine but luckily I have finished second year now and I got my results back and I'm actually really happy with them, really proud of myself. So yeah, it's summer, officially summer, and I feel like now I've kind of, I've come home, I'm living at home at the moment, I'm not living at uni, um, and I'm not drinking as much and I'm just kind of like getting myself back together, getting my mental health back on track, getting myself into a routine, my fitness is back on track, my healthy eating is back, back on track, and I just feel like so much better for it. I feel like I'm looking after myself 
um, and instead of just, I mean, yeah, obviously I love going out and I love being with my friends and stuff like that, but it kind of comes at like an expense of my mental health, if that makes sense. So yeah, I think just taking a bit of time for yourself is fine every now and again. And yeah, just wanted to sort myself out. Another thing is I got my hair cut a couple of, it was actually like May, end of May got my hair cut and dyed and it's so bloody short i love it i love it short but it's so short that it just keeps like coming out of my ears and it's so annoying <laughs> but i just want like the thing is i feel like i look so much better when it's shorter so it's just i can't win so that kind of leads into the reason why i'm starting this whole thing again youtube again i mean i am so passionate about youtube i have loved doing youtube i've done it for when did I start? I think it was probably like 2017, 2016, something like that. When I was in my first year, sixth form, I want to say, year 12. Um, yeah, I've just like absolutely loved doing it. It's really helped with my confidence, grow my confidence and stuff like that. It's just such a shame because I'm so passionate about it. And I think one of the reasons why I stopped over the last eight months was because even though YouTube really grew my confidence, when I went to uni it was so difficult to do because everyone kind of had an opinion and even if they didn't say it people would say things and then it would sound like it's taking the piss and I'd just be a bit like you know it kind of knocked my confidence a bit so I really struggled to put myself out there but now I'm kind of I've been through a lot this past year and I'm just thinking I don't really care what anyone else thinks you know and I just kind of want to do this for me this is like one of the things that I wanted to do my whole life I really was passionate about YouTube my whole life and I was good at it like I've got 17,000 followers subscribers like it's absolutely crazy that 17,000 of you still follow me and I feel like especially because I've been through a lot this past yeah and I'll, I'll do videos on that i'll explain it and stuff like that i'm like i want to be a bit more transparent even though i've always said that youtube is like a platform for me to kind of share and be honest with you guys about things i want to be like completely transparent and like tell you my struggles and then hopefully like some people can relate to it because i know that there has been so many people that struggle like at the moment i feel like there's so many people who have struggled throughout lockdown throughout this whole pandemic i feel like it's just absolutely ruined some people's lives and their mental healths and i me being one of them it's ruined my mental health and i've started to get back on track and if i can help at least like even one person like sort themselves out and make themselves feel better then you know it will it will make all of this like worthwhile so yeah i feel like maybe i can do that with my videos Obviously I'm not a saint and I'm not going to change the world and I'm not saying that at all but I just feel like even just one person, if I just made them like a little bit happier or, or like taught them how to get into a routine or be a little bit healthier or feel a little bit better that would just you know make everything worthwhile. So yeah, I'm talking so much I need to finish my face. Yeah like I said earlier I got my um, grades back for second year. And I'm actually like really proud of myself and I'm proud of myself because for my second semester, I my first semester of second year, I kind of partied, was a bit out of control. Yeah, we don't talk about that. Um, but then my second semester, I was like, right, I need to get myself back on track. I need to sort my life out. Um, and I, I, like, I did quite a lot. I, I really worked like hard for the first maybe six or seven weeks of uni. I kind of let my mental health get the better of me after that and I just didn't do my assignments and I was meant to do them they're all due in for like the 5th of May but you in Oxford Brooks you can get extensions so I got an extension and I ended up doing four massive assignments one of them was like a hundred percent of the module four massive assignments in two weeks in two weeks like I couldn't I don't know how I did that, I don't know why I did that, but I did and that is probably, that was a really big mistake, but I ended up getting good results and I don't know how, but I was proud of myself for doing that because I did really struggle that week with my mental health, so yeah, I did get alright in them. Just putting a little bit of powder on, I don't need too much because my concealer is quite dry, so if I put loads of powder on, 
it's like a bit cakey so i literally just put it like down the middle of my face what else can i update you guys on um i feel like my life's been pretty boring at the moment because i mean not boring like i love my life at the moment but it's just there's not a whole lot going on that's like different to my normal life um there is one thing that I can update you guys on that you definitely, unless you follow my Instagram, you won't know about. Um, but I do have a boyfriend. His name is Jordan. Um, he's an absolute lovely guy. I'm so obsessed with him. And when I say obsessed, I am obsessed. He is honestly the nicest guy ever. We met during like the second lockdown in November um, over Tinder and then we just spoke on Tinder for a while. And I'm not gonna lie, like, I have never been one for Tinder. I've never, like, had it before, and I was just like, mm, you know, and I only got it because my friend Em had it. Um, and we were just, like, we were so bored because we were in lockdown, and we would literally just, like, be watching a movie and just, like, swiping and, like, not paying attention to, like, Tinder at all. Um, but then I think one morning, it was so weird because one morning I messaged him back, and I'd literally never messaged anyone really on Tinder. And then he replied, but he, like, only re-downloaded Tinder for, like, one day or something like that. It was all weird, like, circumstances. Um, yeah, and then we just, like, got on really well, hit it off straight away. Yeah, we have been, we dated for a while, just kind of, like, I didn't want to go into things too quickly. And then we started going out in March. But, yeah, he's really lovely. He'll be in quite a few of my videos, probably. Very confident, very talkative, so I'm sure he will not be too shy. I feel like I've almost done, like finished with my makeup. I really don't do much at all with my makeup at the moment. I mean like, it looks very natural right now. I'm gonna fill my eyebrows in now. If you are an old school subscriber, you will know that I've literally been using this for ages. Same with my bronzer, I use the same bronzer every day. Uh, but this, I don't actually know where it's from because it's just, it's completely just like worn off. So I have no idea where this is from. I feel like it's collection. It's really good, really good colours and they're quite pigmented actually. It was like only maybe a pound, something like that. But whenever I, I'm kind of going out, I don't do this on an everyday basis. It's literally when I'm going out, I do this. Uh, I just grab the same eyebrow palette i take the middle shade sometimes dip into the darker shade a little bit but i put it on the same brush it's just like a little angled tiny mini brush i do a small wing and it's just like really light just drag it out and it doesn't have to be like neat or anything like that i'll just do it like that and then i'll blend it out you can't you probably can't even see it to be honest what other things can I update you on before I finish this video? Uh, my health and fitness, like I said earlier, I touched upon it earlier. I have been getting back on track with my health and fitness. I've been really proud of myself because I've been going to the gym. And I think just, especially second year, um, in first year I was quite good with going to the gym and working out and stuff like that. But second year I just really struggled towards the end of second year and second semester i did start to get on back on track and that is why i'm like how i am now i've lost weight i put on so much weight honestly in second year but i've lost weight and i have started eating so much healthier listening to my body i'm really happy with like my body and like how i am obviously like there's things that I would love to change, but those bloody dogs next door, honestly. There's obviously things that I'd love to change and I will be working on those goals, but for now, I'm just like happy with how I look and like who I am and stuff like that. So yeah, I do feel a lot happier than I did when I was at uni. There is one thing and I will make like a whole video about this. I did actually film some videos back in January and it kind of touched upon this. So maybe I'll have to edit them oh my god shut up i might actually edit those videos and get them up because there was like quite a lo lot of interesting stuff in them so maybe i'll do that uh, but they just kind of touched upon how i feel like i've got different allergies and i need to go to the doctors and sort that out um and i still haven't done that right a bit of highlighter i honestly have the most outdated makeup i swear i just use the same things over and over again I'm not really that interested in makeup anymore. I'd just rather do like the same things and look the same every day. I'm not really that 
adventurous with my makeup. I think that's my makeup done. The last thing I need to do is spray it with this Mario Badescu spray on my face. Oh! Right, so that's the end of this video and I hope you enjoyed it. Just kind of wanted to update you guys a little bit on my life and tell you what's happening, what's going on. Um, and yeah, I am planning, hopefully if I can, if all of things go to plan, I do have a job at the moment so it is going to be a little bit more difficult but hopefully I will be uploading twice a week, hopefully every Wednesday and Sunday like I used to so look out for those videos. This one will be going up on Sunday I reckon, I think this Sunday because uh, it's Wednesday right now so unless I can get it edited for tonight then it will be going up on Sunday. Yeah so that's kind of everything I've got to update you guys on. There's also some exciting videos that I've got planned coming up, some exciting news and I'll do an extra video on that sometime soon hopefully if things all go to plan. Um, but yeah so keep an eye out for that as well and that's basically it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did then please subscribe or give it a like or leave a comment or you can follow me on instagram which is talisha hill underscore and let me know on there that you enjoyed it and yeah i'll see you in my next video <laughs>